Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can see, we are in the botanical gardens and this video is long overdue. We were supposed to do it last month for our one year anniversary, but you know... Yeah, things have, <laughs> things have been really busy. We had a few videos that we did and you know, life, life happens, was busy. Yeah. So, but you know, a lot of people wanted to see this video so we finally decided to do it and we just decided to come outdoors in the gardens relax get some fresh air and just do a recap of our first year of marriage and you know some of the highlights the things that we have done what we have experienced and you know some of the best moments it is a lot noisier than what we are used to but we're in a park so that's expected yeah so if you hear screaming or birds chirping and stuff like that <laughs> It's normal. Yeah. <laughs> so guys, as you can see, we changed locations because we had a bit of a lighting issue yeah, going the sun, on. The sun was hitting me right yeah, it's, in my face. It's almost time for the sun to set, so the sun is kind of directly in front of us, so it's doing all kinds of stuff. <laughs> so the way we decided to do this was we, you know, just thought of the last year and you know kind of think of the best moments that we have and you know just put a list together and we're going to just go for it um you know based on the time that they happened okay so as soon as we got married in july we took off on our honeymoon the following day no not the following day the day just two days after, after. Yeah. <laughs> so two days after we took off and we went to saint martin and our experience first of all traveling was very very interesting because for some reason my name was not on the flight <laughs> <laughs> i booked the ticket a few months in advance just to make sure you know that it was done and everything was in order and i made sure that i had my name and her name on the list and when we got to the airport the day they are telling us at the counter that Alan's name is not on the list so i almost didn't get a seat on the flight to my honeymoon <laughs> <laughs> but i was determined i told them that they cannot leave my wife down we just got married and we need to go to our honeymoon yeah and he I'm... kind of threatened them <laughs> <laughs> but anyway saint martin so we went on our honeymoon um that was our first time in saint martin yeah it's uh, somewhere we always wanted to go yeah and it was really fun you know we stayed at a nice resort i can't remember the name of the resort can you remember um, simpson bay yeah Simpson Bay Resort. But actually, that wasn't my first time in St. Martin. I was in St. Martin <laughs> in that same resort actually. But it was like like overnight. He didn't know it was the same resort by the way. It was until we got there. Yeah, he because realized. the first time I stayed there, I was traveling for work and I just stayed there overnight. And I didn't really get to see the place. But then when we got there for our honeymoon, I was like, I've been here before. <laughs> <laughs> And that's when I realized that the same, that's the same resort that, I, that we stayed in. In the resort at a casino, it there had was everything. a grocery store, you, you there was really didn't a need bar. To leave the yeah, it's like, like we didn't need to, <laughs> we didn't need to leave to have it fun. It had everything you could imagine. But of course, we had, we wanted to leave and go and explore and see Saint Martin. And we also we went to the French side as well yeah. and did some exploring. Although we almost got lost because we were <laughs> driving ourselves, we didn't take taxi. We rented a vehicle ourselves and. So he was driving and he was trying to find his way around. <laughs> <laughs> so that's pretty much it. That's how our honeymoon went. I mean, of course, other things happened that we can't tell you about. <laughs> so <laughs> that was our first highlight together. So the second highlight that we're going to tell you guys about happened just two months after we got married. We got married in July and on September 18th, unfortunately, a Category 5 hurricane hit our country dominica and completely devastated yeah. the entire island <laughs> yeah we were thinking that you know so first year of marriage we're going to have so much fun yeah. going to do so many things and then two months later maria hit and it was like everything just died for a few months yeah <laughs> everything that's literally what happened everything just died yeah we kind of had to put our you know our own adventures and fun and stuff to a side and kind of just went into survival mode mm -hmm. you know just to make sure everything was taken care of our family was okay we stayed in our apartment the night and you know we out of the entire apartment there was like one small space 
in the like in the corridor between the rooms and the bathroom where we had to spend the entire night because that was the only place that wasn't getting wet. We actually live on the second floor and our apartment still got flooded, mostly by rain. Yeah. <laughs> on top of that, Carlin's father was not a force, he was at work. Well, he was supposed to be at work, but then he was um, at her parents' home, which is close to the sea. So they were kind of afraid for him the entire night. Yeah, I, I was really scared. I started panicking in the middle of the hurricane because I started to think like I don't know where he is I don't know what he's doing I don't know if he's safe so yeah that was very scary oh. also Sergi's family lives far in the countryside so he yeah. had no idea what was going I on had with no them. idea and there was no form of communication so the hurricane happened on Monday it wasn't until Saturday um, a friend of mine Lincoln we decided to you know, try to get down to Kalibishi where my parents were living because for that entire week we haven't we didn't hear anything from them. So we had to try to get gas somehow because everybody was struggling for gas around that time. And we spent like five hours <laughs> in a gas station waiting for gas. And for all this time I have no idea what's going on. I have no idea where he is, what he's doing, if he's safe. I I, I was scared as well during that time. Because I couldn't go with him. We had to leave her. We didn't know what we were going to meet on the way, if we were going to be able to drive all the way. So, you know, I just decided to go with Lincoln and we had Al was with us as well. And, you know, when he got there, I saw my parents, everybody was safe. I actually cried when I saw my parents. <laughs> you know, we hugged each other and everybody was good. Lincoln went to check his parents, I'll check his parents and, you know, we found that everybody was safe. And. You know, that, that made things a lot better, not losing anyone close to us. Yeah, that was <laughs> unfortunately one of our highlights our of highlights, our yeah. first year of marriage. <laughs> you know, two months after we got married, Category 5 hurricane hit us and devastated Dominica. So the next one, the next highlight that we have is, so a couple months after Maria, we got to ride on a helicopter for the <laughs> first time Although the circumstances were not what we yeah. would like it to be, it was an experience that we got to we got to do. And we didn't go together on the same helicopter, but it's a highlight for us because it was our first time on a helicopter ever. <laughs> and we got to spend some time in St. Lucia together because I went first and he came after. For me, I went with one of my friends and we were just holding each other's hands the entire <laughs> way and screaming on the helicopter because it was so small and it could only fit four of us and it was just too much for me to deal with <laughs> I never expected it to be that scary so that was a very new experience for the both of us what was yours like? I, I never really knew like you said it wasn't scary no, it wasn't scary. You Com had a, he had a bigger helicopter than, than, than what I went on. Yeah, compared to the one that you were on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the helicopter that I was on was just... I've never seen a helicopter that small before. <laughs> and you, you actually took off from the stadium. Yeah. In a smaller one. From the stadium. Not at an airport or anything like that. Right from the stadium, we just lifted into the air <laughs> and <laughs> went to St. Lucia. How did that feel? That, I honestly, I don't know what I expected the helicopter ride to be like, but it just <laughs> hovered into the air. <laughs> I really didn't expect it. And you can feel every movement of the wind shaking the helicopter. And it was, yeah, uh, I, I, wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it again. <laughs> so because of that experience, we got to spend some time in St. Lucia together, which wasn't our first time in St. Lucia. So that wasn't new to us. The only thing that was new was the helicopter, right? Yeah. <laughs> so the fourth highlight that we have... Um, <laughs> a dog just stared at us. A dog just stared at us like... <laughs> what did you say to me? <laughs> so yeah, the fourth highlight was... Having our... What was it again? Five year anniversary. Oh yes. <laughs> Not wedding anniversary, but five years of us being together. Yeah, we actually can't check the date that we got together. And because it was my birthday, so it's not hard to forget. Yeah, it's not hard to forget. It's not hard to remember. <laughs> <laughs> Pregnancy brain, okay? 
anyway, so our uh, five year anniversary dinner. Um, at that time, it was just a few months after Maria. So. It was in November. It was in November, yeah. Um, and as you'll notice, like some of the stuff that we experienced um, was affected by Maria. And we wanted to do a lot more and have a lot more experiences in our first year. But again, because of Maria, we didn't really get to do yeah. a lot. But, you know, we still had some good experiences. So when we had our five year anniversary dinner, we, we didn't have much options at the time to go out and to, you know, have dinner. So what we decided to do was to stay home and have dinner. Yeah. But we had one of our friends cook for us. Mm -hmm. and serve us at our home <laughs> <laughs> yep and i will say the food was really good big up judy <laughs> yeah big up judy for cooking us a really nice dinner mm -hmm. and being our waiter serving us mm -hmm. you know some nice food and wine mm -hmm. and you know we we were at home but it still felt like we were in our yeah. restaurants because you we, know, got, we got dressed up and everything and yeah it was really nice yeah all right, guys. So as you can see, our light, our lighting has changed a bit. It's the sun is setting, so we don't have any extra light. So excuse us for that. <laughs> so our final highlight is, of course, happening right now, and that is getting pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> that has to be one of the main highlights right now. Although it was unexpected, but <laughs> <laughs> I think we are making the most of it and. It's going to be one of our best highlights so far. <laughs> so for the persons who have been following the channel so far, and if you haven't already subscribed, please do so now and like this video one time. Yep. But for the persons who have been following so far, you would have known that Carleen already announced that she is pregnant. She has two videos so far. So if you haven't already checked those out, go, go check them out check them now. Out. <laughs> quick update I am 16 weeks now heading to 17 weeks and my symptoms that I explained in my previous videos are not as extreme anymore the only thing I have to say is I have a lot of headaches I feel a, a lot more nauseous now when I eat certain foods and my appetite is coming back thankfully I'm eating more than I was before so that's a good thing that's a plus and I noticed that in my first trimester, I ended up losing weight instead of gaining weight because I really didn't have much of an appetite, like I said, and I guess it affected my weight more than I expected it to. So as you can see, we are extremely dark right now. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just going to pack up and, and leave and we're yeah. going to end the video here. So thank you so much for watching the video. And if you like this video, like it <laughs> and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can see more of our videos and comment below what was your favorite highlight bye <laughs>